Hi everyone, today we are going to study the network layer protocols used in IoT. So, the protocols which are used in network layer for IoT are the IP version 4 protocol, IP version 6 protocol and the 6 low W PAN. So, let us look at these 3 protocols in detail. First of all, we will see the IP protocol. The full form of IP is internet protocol and you can say that it is that glue that holds the internet together. It is designed with internetworking in mind, internetworking wherein you use different kinds of networks and you connect devices using different kind of networks. So, there is one network which is of another kind, there is another network which is of another kind, devices on one kind of network can connect with devices on another kind of network. So, this is inter networking. So, it was device designed with this thing in mind that uh, uh, even if the devices are on different types of network that is even if the devices are on heterogeneous networks, they should be able to communicate with each other and for this reason IP was designed. The job of internet protocol or IP is to provide a way to transport datagrams. Datagrams are basically smaller units of data. Before injecting the data into the network, the large chunks of data are divided into smaller units. So, these smaller units of data are known as the datagrams. So, the job of internet protocol or the IP protocol is to transport these datagrams from source to destination without any without any guarantee that is they will be transmitted from the source to de destination but there is no acknowledgement or guarantee for that and without regard to whether the machines are on the same network or whether they are on other networks in between them so this is not a tension here that whether the devices are on the same network or are they are on a different network devices on heterogeneous networks devices on network uh, devices on other networks can communicate with each other without any fear because of this very protocol which is the internet protocol. Basically in the internet protocol, the transport layer takes data streams and breaks them into datagrams. Datagrams can be of up to 64 kilobytes each, but in practice they are usually not more than 1500 bytes. So, the maximum capacity of a datagram can be 64 kilobytes, but usually they are not more than 1500 bytes. So, they fit in one ethernet frame easily. Each datagram is transmitted through the internet possibly being fragmented into smaller units as it goes. So, this datagram is further fragmented into smaller units as it is transmitted through the network. When all the pieces finally get to the destination that means these smaller chunks of data when get to the destination machine there they are reassembled again into that one big unit of data by which layer by the network layer into the original datagram. So, this datagram is then handed to the transport layer which inserts it into the receiving processes input stream. So, at the destination machine it is the transport layer which is responsible for inserting the datagrams received into the receivers or into the receiving processes input stream. Now, this was an introduction for IP or the internet protocol. Now, as I said that both IP version 4 and IP version 6 are used in IoT at the network layer. So, we will study both these protocols. First of all, we will start with IP version 4. The IP uh, stands for internet protocol that we all know and V4 here stands for the version 4 that is it de depicts which version of IP we are talking of. Basically, there are two versions of IP the version 4 and version 6. So, when we say IP V4 that means we are talking about the version 4 of the internet protocol. IP version 4 was the primary version brought into action for the production within the ARPANET in 1983. So, this was the first and primary version of the internet protocol and this was uh, brought in uh, introduced within the internet then which was ARPANET that is American Research Project Agency Network in 1983. If you want to know more about ARPANET, I will 
give a link for this particular video in the description box you can check that out so ip version 4 addresses are basically 32 bit integers the addressing scheme that is used in ip version 4 is that they are of 32 bit integers which are expressed in decimal notation like this so uh, these are the kind of decimal notation that is used in the ip version 4 is kind of this and this possibly could be an IP version 4 address. Then we will look at the other version of IP version uh, IP which is the internet protocol version 6. Now the internet protocol version 6 was developed by internet engineering task force which is also known as IETF to deal with the problem of IP4 exhaustion. Now what was the problem was with IP version 4 that we had to come up with IP version 6 it was the exhaustion in IP version 4. Now you know that IP version 4 is a 32 bit uh, uses 32 bit integer addressing and IP version 4, uh, 6 uses 128 bit addresses having an address space of obviously 2 to the power 128 which is a way which is way bigger than IP version 4. IP version 6 uses hexadecimal format separated by a colon. So just like IP version 6 user used the decimal format here the IP version 6 uses the hexadecimal format which is separated by colon. The main reason of IP version 6 was the address depletion. As the need for electronic devices rose quickly when internet of things came into picture after 1980s. So the moment IoT came into picture after 1980s, there was more, uh, more devices came into existence and there was more demand for address space. But the address space got depleted because the address capacity of IP version 4 was limited. So for this reason IP version 6 was introduced. Now the need for new options, support for multimedia and the desperate need for security all this led to the, invent, uh, to the advent of IP version 6. The IP version 6 protocol responds to the all of these issues like address uh, the address space required or new options which were being introduced like multimedia. So all this were uh, easily supported by IP version 6 protocol. So these are the two versions of IP version uh, IP protocol that is the IP version 4 and IP version 6 which are used in the network layer for IoT. Now if you want to uh, further study the IP version 4 and IP version 6 in detail uh, then you can uh, check out the link in the description uh, box. I will give a link for, uh, in the description box for both the videos, detailed videos on IP version 4 and IP version 6 wherein you can also see the header format for both the protocols. So IP version 4 and IP version 6 are used in the network layer for IoT. Basically other added advantage of IP version 6 is that it provides better traffic routing across the internet and it also helps in identifying and locating devices on the network which is definitely an added advantage. Now other than IP version 4 and IP version 6 the third protocol which is used at the network layer is the 6 low WPAN. The full form of 6 low WPAN is 6 low power wireless personal area networks. So it is used for those wireless personal area networks which are having devices with low power. This IoT protocol works best with what kind of devices? Low power devices. Obviously if they are low power they will have limited processing capabilities. So this whole idea was to, uh, to introduce this particular protocol was that otherwise those devices which had low power and limited processing capabilities could not use uh, could not participate in IP IoT because they were not able to use IP. So with the help of this particular protocol even the low power devices that had limited processing capabilities could use internet protocol or IP and then because of that they could also participate in IoT. So the whole idea of having this protocol was that even the smallest of devices with low power and limited processing capabilities should be able to participate in IoT.